Hey all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to explain you or uh, just I want to introduce a new stuff which I have done in the recent. So as you see in the circuit or the blocks, so this is actually a timer based automatic water level controller. This is a device which is actually used for controlling the three phase motor not the single phase or the conventional motor which we use for the domestic purpose or in our home but this is used to uh, like uh, control the three phase motor especially like a common place where you can find is your in your apartments for the bore well or for the overhead times where you have like more than four or five floors so this is a circuit being used in such setups okay now let me introduce all these individual components so here as you as you see this is a timer actually which is an auto which has like uh, three modes like on auto and you can keep it off so this is a simple clock circuit as you see the time it's running so currently it is set to 24 hours and see there is a timer so here if you see see there's a number one on so first timer on so uh, and first timer off similarly to three and so on so i have configured only three timers so if you see first timer the on is at 6 am off is 6 45 so this in short tells the circuit to stay on for this 45 minutes duration that is nothing but from 6 am to 45 after that the center circuit tree will get switched off actually so that is the purpose of this is like a simple uh, on off switch which is uh, basically a time based switch you can tell a programmable switch actually this is so next come to this a transformer for the entire circuitry power supply which is actually 12 volt and uh, here as the circuitry is more like we are using a 12 volt 1 amps uh, transformer and these two boards are actually the relay control or the motor uh, control unit and uh, if you see you have like uh, this is the input power supply input and this is the sump monitoring area like whether the whether there is a water in the sump or not you can uh, check through this line this is motor dry run and this is the overhead tank common high and low so similarly i have used two setups so this is like for controlling two different motors uh, if you want to use the single board to control multiple unit then your circuitry the other side circuitry will get increased so keep it to keep it very simple i have used two separate boards and these are the uh, the respective indicators like motor on some low some uh, power indicator motor indicator dry run indicator and so on and here comes let me close this so this is actually a lid so that uh, it can avoid the accidental touch or misconfiguration of these buttons these are very soft touch buttons and uh, this is the, actually the relay uh, so this is like uh, we need two relay one is for switching on switching off for the first motor and again for the second motor uh, switching on switching off so as many number of motors you need two separate relays as it, this is a uh, three phase uh, like control three phase motor control unit now let me uh, just go through a little about the uh, connection part so i have already like uh, fixed everything uh, into this board uh, this is actually uh, uh, it is called upvc uh, sheet or something i'm not sure of this is actually the waterproof board which comes for the interior and all so it is just a board which i have cut and like screwed every component separately into this and uh, coming to the connection see uh, this relay always need ac so these are the ac input and this is actually on off this is normally off or normally open and uh, sorry this is normally uh, correct normally open and this is normally closed so uh, whenever this relay gets activated there is a indicator uh, which glows and uh, this is the uh, like switch so when the relay gets on it actually uh, triggers on this transformer and the uh, power is applied to the entire unit
and like uh, these all wires are like uh, actually uh, like I took it from like different uh, like uh, components and or or bought some wires and like configured it as per because these circuit does not have the uh, like wires part of this units so we need to customize this and develop it accordingly and uh, to keep it very simple and compact I used this approach so finally I can uh, make a box for this and like fix it anywhere we want uh, to keep these wires or intact uh, I have used this uh, plastic tie so just uh, drilled uh, two holes and just taken it uh, through this and like just to keep the wires like firm and so that it does not uh, get touched or loosen like over a period of time and like provided like this marking and all for future reference uh, like with a permanent marker and uh, for the providing the supply like uh, for powering up the circuit I have used a normal 3 pin which can be plugged to any like nearby sockets in the respective area yeah so let me show up like uh, how this circuit gets turned on when you set to a timer I have actually powered up this uh, circuit so just to see whether it is powered up you can just change this into on mode ok you can see the entire circuit gets turned on so if you see like actually both the indicator on that means it, it got on both the circuit gone got triggered so this indicates the motor started so if you see you can see the indicator and uh, let me show up how this circuit gets off now let's assume the motor is actually running so uh, let's see this is the first motor and this is the tank overhead tank so this is the uh, wires which will provide wire float switch into the tank so let's assume it got filled so you can see this red indicator glow now you should see this okay sorry uh, yeah now you can see this indicator and after 5 seconds it will off the so you can see the off indicator glow so it will trigger the entire circuitry I mean the motor off similarly if the tank is again getting emptied so again it will switch on so similarly this side also if the second tanks get uh, off you can see this red indicator and similarly it will trigger this relay and it will get off actually relays are getting the sound you are hearing from this side this is the relay switching sound which you are hearing okay, this is the this is how it works when the timer is on so now uh, that now let me show you how we can configure the uh, like on off timing via the relay now I have set it to if you see it is set it to on mode actually on mode means always the relay will on now I'll change it to automatic mode uh, be careful with uh, this part because here there is AC always running so I'll just set it to now it's an automatic mode actually so it the entire circuitry turned off okay now uh, let's uh, set a timer for now the time is 11 zero 09 so let me set it to 11 11 so just for that go to so as all the other timers are already configured let's pick a new timer instance so for so hours i'll set it to 11 and 11 minutes 11 11 okay 11 11 it should turn on this is for on then if I for off what time I need to off that so it's it will be 11 12 let's stay for 12 minutes sorry one minute okay I set the timing and this is throughout the day Sunday Monday Tuesday throughout the week so let's wait see at exactly at 11 you can so you can see the circuit turned on all these indicators are glowing so just forget about this part because it may work uh, as it is 
because the circuitry is not connected to the respective motor or a sump to check the water level and all so it will work so we will just wait for that circuit to turn off at 11 12 okay 5 more seconds 7 8 and 12 see you can see the timer circuit off indicator got off and then the circuit is off this is the circuit diagram uh, like you can see how the relays should be connected to the board where R1 and R2 are the two relays so uh, if you see the right side uh, that are the two switches which you can find in this control uh, motor control board actually there will be it can be red or green or red or black or uh, so however it is you can just connect it as shown in the circuit diagram and uh, coming to the like uh, price of these components so this is somewhere around uh, 600 to 700 as i earlier told there are two three models in the same brand so you may choose according to your need it just uh, varies with the ampere depending on the circuit power consumption as well then this uh, transformer uh, this is uh, this will just cost you like 150 to 200 depending upon the world uh, current rating this is one amp so it's slightly costly and uh, this is uh, this is one unit of the circuitry this is which in the control board plus the indicator this will cost you somewhere around 800 to or 700 to 800 excluding the relays okay uh, and relays and the wiring stuff so so uh, just approximate at 800 and this uh, four channel relay uh, this will cost you like around 150 these all rates are like specific to sp road uh, which is in Bangalore uh, online it may be like too pricey or you, you may not get such quality products so if uh, anybody have any like uh, queries or uh, uh, doubts regarding the circuits you can leave a comment uh, I will probably get back to you with the details okay thank you all please do like and subscribe the channel thank you